Hi guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today I'm going to show you a futuristic dice by Liquid Cyber Squid on Thingiverse. And we're going to do something a bit different today. So uh, let's get into that. So I found this futuristic dice by Liquid Cyber Squid on Thingiverse. And uh, the funny thing with dice is I've never had much I've never had much luck printing them. So I thought, how about I print it on the edge at a at a 45 degree angle and see what happens. Maybe it's better to have a brim. Let's try it with a brim. Ba ding, ding, victory! Hey, hey, that was cool, wasn't it? I wonder if it'll print on just a corner. No. Maybe it'll print on just a corner if I use some support for the for a little bit. Maybe I should just print it properly, the, the way up it was made. Okay, so here's the results of all the different ways that I could think to print the cube. Um, first of all, here is the, the first attempt at printing just on the edge there. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's quite a bit of discoloration where it was attached to the print bed. Here's what happened when I tried to print on just the corner using only a, a brim to try and hold him down. The one that was printed on the side, it was this edge here, this one, uh, uh, this way, and it came up really nice. Now all of these are printed in three layers thick, two millimeters layer height and zero percent infill. That one's a good one. Next up, um, the one that I printed with the supports. So, um, from the top, everything, everything looks fairly good. Uh, very good, actually. All the faces are nice. Unfortunately, some sort of thermal expansion magic was going on down here. And um, the part of the print that was surrounded by the supports is a lot, th uh, I'm hesitant to say thinner, more it, it's indented um, when, in, when compared to the outer edge of the, other, of the other parts of the print. So that's where it was connected there on the bottom. And the supports stopped it from wobbling so much that it would disconnect. So, as you might have guessed, printing on the corner, probably not the best idea. So now, 
printing it flat on the bed. This is the way up it went, this way. And as, as you would expect, sides are good. The bottom, well it's good, but it has a different texture to the rest of the print. And while that's usually fine on a, a lot of the things that I print with flat edges, like um, boxes or display rotating things, uh, in this occasion, no, it's not great. I wanted all the sides to have a very similar texture. It's, it's a dice. I want it to look similar on, on all sides. And the other problem is the top. You know, if you don't have your top layers going perfect, I mean, there's 0% infill in here, and I obviously had a problem with the bridging in a couple of sections. It's, um, it's, it's just simply not, not nice. Not as nice as it could be. Uh, the print itself, uh, the design, I quite like it. It's quite um, reminiscent of like fifth element sort of stuff, but not quite. So yeah, my final verdict is um, I think the best orientation in my experience is to print it on, on an edge like this. It gives the least amount of surface area that you need to clean up from the bed. And the, and the sides all, all look pretty much the same. Alright, so there you go. All the different ways that I've tried to print this futuristic dice model. Um, I've put the link down in the description, so if you like the design of this, you can download it off of Thingiverse. And um, have fun. Ciao! box cutter for cutting boxes open. In my next video I'm going to be opening the Cocoon 3D printer that the Audi stores in Australia were selling the other week. Stay tuned!